Hello everybody, it is Sting Splash and I'm back today with the first of quite a few videos in a series which is going to be looking at my complete Funko uh, collection um, whether that be the regular Funko Pops or uh, reaction figures, fabrications uh, the vinyl sugar lines of, of the vinyl vixens, vinyl idols and uh, obviously the Pops and then there's the Hikaris which I'm going to show first um, the Hikari vinyls are a sort of Japanese style premium vinyl figure uh, they do cost a lot more than uh, than pop vinyls do but they're a lot bigger or and, and a lot better made you know they're a lot better made um, they do have a distinct style generally speaking the arms are very long um, the heads are more proportioned but still a bit big not quite as bad as pops um, and Hikari is Japanese for light I think um, but uh, they are, they're not as popular as uh, pop vinyls I think just because of the cost but uh, I never thought I'd have that many uh, simply because they were about 50 60 pounds but I have gotten lucky enough to uh, get all the ones I have and I haven't spent more than 35 on any of them uh, and some of them were very cheap um, and some of them ended up being incredible deals as well which we'll get to later uh, I've got 32 in total so um, first I'm just going to show the ones that I don't actually usually have against this wall because uh, they're so big and that's the Marvel uh, vinyls which I only just got at the end of my collection, like I was getting other stuff first I never actually thought I'd have any of Marvel ones because they usually are a lot more expensive especially these three because they're a lot taller um, these are huge compared to the regular sized uh, vinyls but you can see there's the the Iron Man there next to Groot they're about 10-11 inches tall so these are usually, where the rest are around 50, these can be up to 70-80 pounds um, but yeah I got these for roughly 30 pounds each so it's pretty good. So yeah, let's get on with the uh, first ones then. Uh, so the first one is Spider-Man from it isn't Spider-Man 2. I think this is like a Blaze Spider-Man. They all have different names, special names. This one's uh, limited to 1,500 as you can see. Uh, they all come, you might be able to see it in the bottom there, they all come with a, a numbered certificate as well, um, which I'll get more into on some of the more uh, interesting numbers that I've got on some of them. But that's a really nice big figure. It's about uh, 10 inches, I think, that one. And then I have two Groots, uh, this one's the Planet X Groot, uh, this is limited to 1,000, um, which I bought from, because uh, this one, Spider-Man, I think I got from Lair of the Octopus, when they were getting rid of all their Funko items cheap. Uh, this one I got from x Byte World, uh, they're also known as 365 Games, um, and again they were having a clear out. Uh, and I also got Groot, again from uh, Lair of the Octopus, this is uh, limited to 5,000, this is the biggest number I've got of any of the the uh, Hikaris, in fact I think it's the biggest um, number they've done simply because it was Groot and he's uh, very popular of course um, so really nice figures there and the other two that I have are Molecular Iron Man and then the, the sort of reverse Deadpool or inverse Deadpool uh, these are both limited to 750 unfortunately the Molecular Iron Man has a bit of a damage on the box uh, but I think I got it for about £25 because of that from Amazon and uh, Deadpool I got again from 365 Games uh, I think this was half price, it was 30 quid I wanted it when it was 60 but I would never pay that much uh, but it's an absolutely awesome vinyl, probably one of my favourites uh, so that is the Marvel ones and now I shall uh, move them out of the way and uh, get to the rest that are behind because uh, these usually go on the other shelf and we're back so uh, yeah, here are the rest then I'll go through them from the top down at the bottom um, so first up here we have uh, the two, um, these two together because they're both uh, sort of Japanese legends or, or Japanese sort of more uh, orientated figures. Um, you have Astro Boy and Giganto. Uh, Astro Boy, this is one of the rare ones where there's no vinyl, they made a pop vinyl for Astro Boy. This is the uh, Gamma Blue version, uh, limited to 600 uh, as I'll get in there. Um, and yeah, uh, this is a really nice figure. This one I got from Amazon. Uh, from Tunes Online, I think it was on Amazon. Uh, that was about £24, it was on special, but uh, it's a really nice figure. Um, a nice variant of the uh, original Astro Boy that you can buy. And then the Giganto, uh, this was uh, purchased from x -Bite Games on, or x -Bite World, sorry, 365 Games on eBay. Um, and they had it in the half price section, so it was £18, which is one of the cheapest I think that I've got. Um, num limited to 700 and this is actually number 700. I've got the very last one made, or oh, very last one numbered, so that's quite unique. Um, a lot of people want number one, but to get the very last one as well is also really obviously hard to get. Uh, so now I have my Star Wars, 
and again these were some of the later ones that I got never thought I'd get any Star Wars because these are rather expensive um, but all these were, were pretty cheap to be honest um, so we have Planet X Bosk he's limited to 600 um, and I got him and I also got Bloody Wampa which is limited to 750 and also K3PO limited to 750 that might be one of my favourite vinyls actually it's a really nice one um, so that one uh, well them three cost I think £100 from a seller on Amazon um, and then the Icy Stormtrooper which is limited to 750 is actually from Star Wars Celebration as you can see uh, that one I think was 35 on eBay uh, but I ended up paying 28 because the box had a bit of damage on it when I got it uh, it wasn't packed well, it was not sent in the box, it was sent in the jiffy bag which is not good uh, and then the last one is Metallic Greedo he's limited to 2000 and that one I think was £30 from Larry the Octopus again and then we get down to my favourites because I've got all of them uh, the Skeletor range from Masters of the Universe um, they released seven different Skeletors and I've got all seven so first up we have the uh, Antique from uh, SDCC last year there's only 300 of those uh, the gold 24 karat gold one they call it which is limited to 600 uh, and then there's the uh, Mythos Skeletor limited to 1000 there's the Grey Skull which is limited to 1000 the uh, Mystic limited to 2000 Metallic limited to 2000 and finally Havoc limited to 2000 now uh, the first one I got on these was the metallic one which I paid £27 for, I think it was my second ever Hikari uh, second or third ever Hikari um, and then I also picked up the Mythos one from Larry the Octopus, it was £20 and um, then the Grayskull one was the last one I got uh, I got that off Amazon from America, I think it was about £16 so pretty cheap, but the other four uh, this one here, the Mystic, uh, limited to 2000 and then the Mythos, the Gold and the Antique those were bought from America on eBay and I think I paid about £52 which is £13 each because um, the seller didn't know what they had, he was calling them dolls um, I think they were a reseller uh, and all four of these actually don't have numbered cards uh, usually you get a number between obviously one and well, 300 for example, one and 600 but these all have uh, AP now AP stands for Artist Proof so these were actually ones that were sent to the artist uh, for, for final proof so it's almost like a prototype, the last stage from prototype to uh, final production you don't get that many of them, they only make a few um, and obviously the smaller amount they make of the actual figure the less there are, so on this one for example the Antique uh, which is SDCC exclusive, there may only be one artist proof in the world and I've got it, so the fact that I've got the four artist proofs was incredible um, I never thought I'd own an artist proof, so to get four at once was just remarkable um, and then we move on to the Batmans uh, so first up is the uh, Icy Batman, this is another SDCC uh, limited to 500, that was £35 that I bought off uh, someone on Facebook actually uh, and then there's the Metallic Batman limited to 1500 and the Glitter limited to 3000 these ones are relatively easy to get in the UK, you can get them from Zabby actually um, I think I got the Metallic one from Zabby for £30 um, and I got the glitter one for 25 on ebay and then we get down to the last row uh, and first up is actually my um, well it was my most limited now it's my joint most limited uh, the tie dye leonardo limited to 300 it's a toy tokyo exclusive and also the uh, mean green they call it which is like a half clear glitter Raphael, limited to 500 from sdcc 2014 uh, those two actually bought from uh, a guy on ebay for 55 pounds which I was very happy with because they usually sell for at least that each because they're really rare um, so I was really happy with those two uh, and then we have a Mythos Creature from the Black Lagoon this is my hor um, Universal Horror set now, I've got four of these uh, this is limited to 600, I believe it's a Toy Tokyo exclusive and um, a friend of mine on Facebook did me a good deal on that one, I think a bit 28 for that one and then we get Frankenstein, this is the Glitter Frankenstein, limited to 1200 uh, this one I got on eBay, this is the last one I actually bought, just got it last week for 26 I think I paid um, so that's a really nice one, I, I do like Universal Horror ones, I wish, I wish I could get more and then we have two Metal Only Mutants, there's the Retro and I think Transformation, something like that I uh, can't really remember the name of the, that one, but uh, they're limited to 750 and 1500 respectively and I got those from a seller on Amazon for I think again about around £50 for the two 
and then the last set I have is the Transformers and these were definitely the cheapest by far um, so we have the two Optimus Prime, well there's actually Optimus Prime uh, Battle Ready limited to 1000 and the Nemesis Prime limited to 1000 and I think these were both Entertainment Earth exclusives um, definitely in America anyway uh, but you don't really get the stickers on them unless they're SDCC or Toy Tokyo um, and the Battle Ready one I got from x for I think it was about £20 again it was half price and the Nemesis one was like £13 from Amazon because I had it for $10 <laughs> So that was good. Um, that's I think it's definitely the cheapest, one of my cheapest. Um, and then we have the last two, the Bumblebees, Battle Ready Bumblebee, limited to 1,000. That again was about 20 pounds from X-Bite. And then lastly, but certainly not leastly, it's the Glitter Bumblebee, limited to 3,000. Uh, extremely easy to get. This was my very first Hikari actually, and I think I paid 16 pounds from it from Amazon. Um, you can actually pick up um, the loose one on eBay for about eight quid if you really want it. Um, but uh, yeah, nobody seems to want them, which is a shame because it's a nice, it's a nice final. It's not the best, but it's not bad. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm 32 in total, um, covering turtles, Universal monsters, Transformers, He-Man, Batman, uh, Marvel, uh, super uh, superheroes, you know, Star Wars, all sorts, uh, Japanese legends as well. Uh, so I'm really happy with the collection that I've got of 32. Um, I may add to it. I don't know. It all depends on if the price is right. Um, but if I can pick them up for around £30, that's pretty much my limit. Um, unless it's an exclusive from SDCC, I might go to 35 But if I can pick, up, pick them up for around £25 to £30, I'm sort of happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my collection for now. Um, so that'll do for this video. Uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll be back soon because I'm going to do a roundup of my reaction collection. Which uh, I'm really happy with. And that'll be the next video up. So if you like the little reaction figures, the the old style uh, Kenner toy figures then check that one out and uh, I'll see you again soon. Take care and bye.